You should probably put it in drive, huh? Is she gonna die? Oh, is she cooking, baby? Do you think we're gonna fit? It, dude, it's a tight squeeze, like low key. Welcome back, folks. Um, Michael, you might have to help me scale through here. I had to shut the engine off because it turns out it's not deep enough under here. Bro, did you see that safe? I'm that. Uh, it's, too, it's too shallow. Dude, I almost hit the front end right into the sidewall. Michael's over here filming. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Man, I thought it was crazy. I no, <laughs> I seen a bobber. I'm like, this guy's gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, to, I'm not trying to screw up your fishing. You guys catch anything? Yeah, a couple. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks. I don't want to like turn this on and screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it, folks. Welcome back. Um, I almost crashed the boat in the first 15 minutes of fishing here, but I brought some crappy uh, glide baits from Amazon, so it's good to be back. I got Michael on the boat today, and uh, who knows what today entails, but if there's bass here, we're gonna catch them. All right, now, now that we've made it, we just went through the sketchiest brig setup ever. So I've just been taking the John boat out, exploring new bodies of water in my area. I've really recently started diving into cheap glide baits. Glide baits like this, are, well, you can't really see them because of sunlight, but glide baits like this are a huge thing within the fishing industry right now, but expensive glide baits are a huge thing. So your boy is balling on a budget over here. He doesn't got the money to spend on the nice stuff. So I'm over here trying to see if the cheap stuff you can get on Amazon will work and catch you big bass. So never fished here before. I'll be honest with you guys, found this spot on Fish Brain just messing around and it had a boat ramp. So we're here and I'm gonna try and fish big glide baits. The last video that I posted, you guys wanted me to get out here and keep on trying with the glide baits, not to give up. So I'm gonna fish for them for the majority of the day. And if I just can't get anything, well then heck, I'm gonna start bass fishing like last time. But I'll give you guys a lowdown on what I have today and uh, then we'll get started fishing. So here's the lowdown. Today, I have an $11 bluegill glide bait or swim bait that I bought on Amazon. And it honestly looks pretty legit for 11 bucks i'm pretty content with it it's supposed to be a floating glide bait and then i also bought this one for i think 12 dollars. and this is by bass dash this was also from amazon so you guys were all about me buying baits like this and trying them out to see if they're worth the money so i went and just loaded up a shopping cart one day on amazon and did this so today's juice that we're going to be fishing with is this random glide bait that doesn't even have a name on amazon and this other glide bait that is by Bass Dash. So this one had over a thousand reviews, so it seems like it might be pretty decent, but who knows? So this is the juice for today. We're gonna see if it works. These glide baits again, just because Mike was saying the sun, the sunlight was pretty bright on the camera, so you couldn't quite see them. So we have this bluegill one. This is what I'm gonna start with. It's kind of like a top water bait, so it's not necessarily ideal, but there is a ton of docks around here, so I'm gonna try and flip this guy around the docks. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna pick up this one a little bit and try this one. And if this doesn't work, then heck, I'm probably just gonna pick up a bass jig and try to catch a couple fish before the sun goes down. This wasn't the original plan. The whole lake that I'm at looked super clear on Google Maps. Turns out 95% of the lake is covered in weeds, so this was like the only clear area I had to fish, so. Whatever, it is what it is. Fish Brain showed a couple people catching bass here, so there should be bass in here. But it also said on Google that there's just lots of crappie and bluegills. So, alrighty, starting with the bluegill. I'll be honest with you guys, for 11 bucks, this thing looks really good. It has like the soft beat up tail on it, like the bristle tail, so that's pretty cool. The printed paint job, the eyes don't actually look bad at all. I thought for sure it was gonna be one of those like gimmicks where you see it the picture on like Amazon and you buy it and you're like, this looks awful. The action on this thing is awesome. We're fishing six foot of water right now. It goes like maybe a foot under the surface and it just has like a nice, like dying fish, like glide, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm new to glide bait fishing, but it looks really good in the water. The water is murky, but it, it glides really well and it, it floats. So like when you're not gliding it, it floats up, which is kind of awesome. So it kind of looks like a belly up bluegill almost when it stops. 
A lot of people were telling me try to throw the glide baits in clear water, big clear water. Oh. That was good. That was good. Best Well, so far guys, we're about an hour in. Nothing, nothing at all. Come on, I know you just want to get smacked. I think I'm gonna try and find some bass first, guys. I know I shouldn't give up. I'm not, I'm not giving up on the glide bait. I just see this like rock edge right here. I gotta try and flip a bandito bug into it just to confirm that there are bass in here. So this glide bait does look juicy though. Mike, confirmed? It's Does it pass? Super, it's super juicy. Super juicy. Oh yeah. Mega juice. Ooh. For 11 bucks, it it passes the looks. We got beef jerky or bandito bug, Mike. Which one do you think I should text this rig? I want the bass like the jerky as much as us, and uh, I go jerky. All right, jerky it is. <laughs> it's all bluegills on beds. Yeah, dude, it's a good way to get mauled. Here's the fish. Little, little, little one. All right, they exist. They exist. Dude, hunchback over here. Dude, look at, he's got a hunchback. He does, <laughs> Did you see it? Look at this thing, hunchback. Can't really tell, but something right there. All right, well, bandito bug works, so there are confirmed bass in here. I'm gonna take one more cast, go back to the glide bait, but I just, I had to confirm it. Dude, I did it. I did it. That's why you skip under docks, baby. I've been learning how to skip under docks recently, and uh, that's exactly why I've been learning, because they be under there. <laughs> Dude, is this one got a hunch? Dude, they're just fat in here. Well, he, my bandito bug's gone, so. They are thick, though. You see that? Shabam. All right. Glide bait it is since, you know, bandito's gone, but you guys came here to watch the glide baits. I know. I know. Caught two, got on my system. Just had to let Mike know that he stinks at fishing. I just, <laughs> just kidding. What if I was like that? Would you fish with me still? Michael, you suck. Go home. I just brought you here because I'm bored. I don't want to be alone. He saw me catch a bass and he said, Oh, I thought I got bit. This dock, Michael, if you don't catch one. Ooh, that girl. Ooh, that girl. All right, so far, bite's not been too hot on the glide bait. I've been trying to do this because you guys have just, you told me to push through it. It's one of those things where you just gotta fish. You gotta pretty much expect to catch nothing. And then, you know, every so often you get bit. But usually when you do get bit, it's something big. But just to show you guys, if you guys are curious and you wanna pick one of these up, I'm actually really impressed with it. This is what it looks like in the water. Can you see that, Mike? You see it okay? You can see it a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has really good action. Unfortunately, the sun is going down. I've been at it for like an hour and a half, two hours with this guy. And uh, or I don't know what time you think. Yeah, it's probably about 8.30 at this point. It's pretty late. So the sun is setting. And uh, I'm gonna try the glass glide bait for a little bit. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna go frog because there's a ton of weeds on the other side of the lake. But I'm trying out here a little bit every video with you guys. And if you guys are curious, I'm pretty much just taking the hit for you. If you guys are big glide bait fishermen and you wanna pick up something like this because you just don't have the funds to buy the nice stuff, well, here I am testing it for you and biting the bullet. So I really like this one. I'm gonna take this other places, but we're gonna switch over to the other one, see if we can get bit. All right, so here is the other glide bait. We're gonna throw this guy in there. See if this, this one looks a little, oh, this look, dude. Look at this one, bro. Oh, that's better. I think this one looks better. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Wow. Wow, that looks really good, bro. I feel confident with this guy. The only thing I don't like about it is it kind of falls like face heavy when it pauses. Kind of dives down, has a weird pausing action. But as far as the glide, it glides really, really tight. I like that. The profile is a lot smaller, but this thing is it's freaking loud. I like that. I've had oh, no, no. 
No juice on the glide bait, huh? The sun is going down though, Mike. We gotta go catch some fish on the frog, I think. Dun 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 Oh, those are some big spiders, bro. I know, my face almost went through the one. We made it. But I don't know if you can tell, but the sun's going down. It's caught me all my biggest bass this year. I'm not giving up on the glide baits. I'm just a little butt hurt about the glide baits right now, so. That's what we're doing. Oh, that was something in front of me. Not that I know of. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a big fish, dude. Oh, that was a four pounder, Mike. That was a four pounder, Mike. Did you see that, dude? I told you if they're in here, they're big. Oh my God. That gummit, dude, that was four pounder all day. Did you see the head on that thing? I let him eat it too, so good. There you go, Mike, Michael, Michael. Get it, bro, get it. The Loki wanna like put the in some pasta sauce like it's a, like the noodles my mom always used to make. Oh my goodness. That's a good fish, Mike. Please stay out, baby. Thank you, Googan Squad Heavy. I gotta keep her pinned, Mike. That, Mike, do you think this is five pounds, Mike? The way it hit, it seems like. You know what's awesome, Mike? I don't have a scale. This stuff is so thick. Oh, he's on. Come to Papa, Mike. Just grab that whole clump. I see a tail. I don't know how big he is. No, just grab underneath. Put your hand underneath. I don't want to lose it. Just scoop the whole thing up. Watch the camera back, camera back. Oh, Mike. No, 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 no. I love you and I hate you. Oh. All right, give me the head. <laughs> Not even that big of a giant. Good fish, though. Good fish, but holy crap. That thing blew up like a freaking six pounder, didn't it? Three pounder, nothing insane for public water bass. I'm all for it. Michael about submerged the freaking <laughs> camera. That would have been an expensive mistake. Oops. Jeez, oh Pete, but all right, well, three pounder. See you later, buddy. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's get some more. Things weird. You ever see this thing before? I gotta take this one out fishing. Subscriber made me that one. And that I, I can tell you, no one really has a lure like that. I can't wait to take that thing fishing. Some kid made that for me, so that's really cool. Definitely gonna fish with it, but in due time. We're back. The glide bait bite. It didn't work. I know you guys want to see me keep on fishing these things, keep doing it, keep doing it. I'm sorry that I don't do it for the whole video, but you know when I can get on a bass bite so easily doing different things, it's very hard. So I'm going to try and fish glide baits a little bit every time, and I will make a couple of videos that are completely dedicated to glide baits as soon as I can find you know, a logical area to throw these baits. But I want to show you guys this bait that I fished with today. Again, I got this on Amazon for 11 bucks. It's not the craziest, nicest glide bait in the world but for 11 bucks like so this right here is a buka bull shad it's not the same kind of bait but it's similar in concept and uh you know although this thing looks really good and it works really well this is like a 45 dollars bait this is expensive it's like 50 bucks for one of these 11 dollars 50 dollars so i'm very pleased with the action in this i bought this as like one of those things where i completely expected it to be a piece of junk like i've ordered stuff on amazon before like this guy right here and well yeah look at that i expected it to look like this it came out pretty legit has the fan tail like just like the bullshit i mean check that out a little bit different material but i mean it looks pretty good so if you guys are interested in this glide bait i'll leave it linked down below but i am going to make more videos with it because i think this will actually get smacked i just have to fish it in the correct scenario. Recently, I've been taking the John boat and just trying out new bodies of water around me and just really testing my fishing abilities. I've been doing pretty well. I lost one really nice fish today, caught one decent one, and then caught two little guys. And Michael got skunked, but 
you know, it's okay. You know, it happens sometimes. But, usual you know, for no me. worries. Yeah. But so I got to get on a plane and go to Florida for iCast in literally. I was gonna look at my watch, but I'm not wearing one. But I don't ever wear a watch. Not sure why I looked at my watch. I have to get on a plane and yeah, very soon, very very soon. So you guys are actually watching this video right now. It's late but I did film it today. So so if you guys are watching this video right now, like as we're speaking, I filmed it within the last 24 hours. So I'm getting on a plane, going to ICAST. Should I bring this to Florida with me? I'd say leave a comment down below, but I'll probably be packed by the time they leave a comment down below. So all right, I'm gonna bring this thing to Florida, see if I can catch some giant fish. I have a buddy, Dylan, Extreme Outdoors, man, he's bringing me some gear down there because I can't fly with it. So if he has a rod that allows me to throw a swim bait, I will do that in Florida. With that being said, Next video, I'll see you guys at iCast. If you're there, say what's up. I gotta get packing. I'm gonna be late, so peace out, guys. <laughs>